Hi friends, this is Jody Renshaw from the Thrifty Pigeon in Studio 36, and today I have Bailey, our Australian Shepherd, and Maggie, Maggie, <laughs> our mini Australian Shepherd. And their boy is home, so they're nice and calm. My son just came home from school, so everything is right with the world as far as they're concerned. So. We have, or I have, a big haul today. I'm hoping I can do it all in one video. If I can't, I'll make a second video. I went to Salvation Army, Goodwill, and Catholic Charities yesterday. And in one day, I picked up quite a bit of stuff. I won't be able to do much with this stuff until after we get back from New Jersey, Pennsylvania. We're leaving, I believe, on Monday. So if there's anything that you see in this video that you would like, email me. And of course, some of the things I keep. But the first thing I want to show you is pretty amazing. And I love the story. So today, April 15th, uh, 2021, is my our 32nd anniversary of our first date, my husband and I. And on our first date was our first kiss. So we've been together ever since then, and it's a date that is really special to us. Our first date was at an arcade game, Monstrosity of a Place in Nashua, New Hampshire. And yesterday, while I was thrifting, I found up in Bangor, Maine, here in Bangor, Maine, I found this. This pig, piggy bank from Fun World. I couldn't believe it. I mean, we're talking at least, what, 200 miles away? I mean, not that that's a long haul for this to make it all the way up to Bangor, but it just the timing was so amazing. So, I gifted it to my husband last night, but told him that it needed to go on my video today. I, my mind was just blown because I've never seen, I've never seen anything that said Fun World on it. And then to see it the day before, you know, our, our 32nd anniversary of our first date there was pretty neat. So that's really cool. I, that made my day. So everything else was a bonus, but, um, that was pretty cool. So, all right, what else do we have? I have so much stuff here. I barely know where to start. Uh, let's go with this. So I picked these up at Goodwill and they came taped together like this. So the tape was all around it. And I thought it was just two bowls that were probably locally made because we have a lot of pottery a lot of pottery studios and so forth here in Maine, the inside. But when I unwrapped them and took them apart, I noticed this is what, I think you call it a compote when it sits on a pedestal like that. And inside it said, made in Italy. So I was kind of floored by that because I thought this was, you know, maybe just a locally made piece. And I don't know anything about this style. And I'm wondering now why it's signed here. They clearly are the same maker, but not signed here and said, you know, instead stamped um, made in Italy. But then there's this, there are some initials here, I believe, that say JS up at the top. So those are really neat. I think, I don't know if I'll put these in a live sale or on eBay. They are purple green, which you don't normally see. So that was pretty cool. And they were $3 for the pair. Okay. Then someone was parting with their elephant collection at Goodwill. And I'll show you my favorites first. I found these elephants in a bag, not handled very well. They are Wolin, Japan, 
which I looked up and was kind of hard to find any elephants. They are clearly from the 50s, I would assume. But what I couldn't believe was that the trunks were still intact. Oh my gosh, you know what we forgot to do, you guys? I know why I feel weird right now. I feel weird right now, by the way. I forgot to sip my drink with you. So grab your coffee. I'll grab mine. Cheers. And then it feels like we're having a conversation. So let's go back. Yeah, so they have little ties on them. A little bow tie and a long tie. And their trunks are still perfectly intact. No chips, nothing, nothing wrong with these guys. I couldn't believe it. Because you know, you know how stuff gets handled at Goodwill. And they're just so stinking cute. I think I'm gonna put them in a live sale. They have blue eyes. So they need a little cleaning up, but I mean, I was so excited because I never see figural things like this, this old without a problem at Goodwill. And they were just in a bag, like a, a sandwich bag, you know? And so I was surprised they made it. The next ones are Home Co. And these were in a different bag with two other with two other elephants that are salt and pepper shakers that I'll show you. I don't know why I'm very shaky in this arm today. I got my second vaccination shot yesterday and I'm not gonna lie, it does hurt, but worth it. Um, so this arm is just a little bit shaky, just a little, I don't know. So watch, yeah, you can see, look at me shaking. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine, guys. Uh, so, yeah, look how cute they are. And again, no chips or cracks. I think, it. I don't know for sure. I'm still learning about all of this. But I think these would be from the 80s, 70s maybe. I don't think they're as old as the other ones, the Made in Japan Wilco's. So they have a 1400 on them. I'm not sure what that means. But yes, I think I'm going to do these in a live sale as well. And the salt and pepper shakers are definitely very 70s, 80s. And not quite as attractive to me, but some people love this. So very country, uh, the blue and the purple and the little dots. They have bow ties too, so that's cute. And salt and pepper. Look at that shaking. As long as I don't break anything, we're good. Okay. Next up, I have, listen, if you have cats, you understand this completely. This cat is judging you. Judging your life choices. Look, I'm sorry, I am not judging your life choices. I'm not, but this cat is. Look at that. Made in Japan, $1. Did I say how much the bag, so the first bag of elephants was $3, and the second bag of elephants was $3. And this little kitty was a dollar. And I'll put this in a live sale, or maybe even do it as a, as a giveaway. So, yeah, judgy cat. All cats are a little bit judgy. This piece is more modern. I'm sure of it. I paid $3 for it. Uh, let me take the sticker off. I have a thing for aquatic animals of every kind, especially sharks. Sharks are my favorite. I also love pufferfish. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at his face. He's talking to you. This is just a tea light holder. It could be Pier 1. It could be a lot of things. It could be Pottery Barn or it could be Walmart. I have no idea. But I didn't see any comps for this on eBay. I didn't see any of them anywhere. So I might try this on eBay. I mean, if you collect pufferfish, he's gorgeous. 
she, he, they, gorgeous. At first, when I saw them sitting on the shelf, I thought it was for flowers, which I suppose it could be too. So, but come on, that face. So I liked that. Okay, there is so much in front of me, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> All right, I'll move this out of the way. This I paid $6 for, a hanging rack. And it is not handmade. It is definitely manufactured. You can make these with old knobs and that kind of thing. But for $6, it was cheaper for me to buy it. I've always loved this look. So I think we're going to keep this either at camp or here at the house. And uh, it's just sweet. A lot of people were looking in my cart at it, actually, after I grabbed it. And I was like, not in my house. Just kidding. If you know basketball, you kind of got that reference. So, I mean, it is going in my house. Anyway, bad joke. Okay. Now, <clears throat> pardon me. Take another sip. How's your coffee? Mm. My coffee is always cold and black. That's how I like it. It's not cold, lukewarm. No, not it's, it's room temperature and black. And sometimes has whiskey in it, but not today. I see these types of plates all the time, right? You do too, I bet. I bought all different kinds of them. I always ignore them. Okay, because I assumed that nobody was looking for these. And they were 59, the first stop was at Salvation Army and they were 59 cents. And I thought, well, all right, I'll look them up. You know, I assume, I know they're from the, I thought that they were from the 70s, 80s because I had them growing up. So I read the back and it said Heartside Hand Painted Oven Proof Stoneware. Uh, dogwood for this one and I can't read I can't read what kind of flower that is for this one but I looked them up they're from Japan and people want them on eBay so I'm not passing them up anymore for 59 cents a piece put these two together I'm gonna guess I could get around $15, which again, is not going to pay for my trip to Jersey and Pennsylvania, but it all helps. So, so I grabbed those, and then when I went to Goodwill, I saw these, a bunch of these, and they said, Classics by Hearthside, hand-painted stoneware. Castlewood made in Japan whoops this way for you but this way if you want to read it so I looked these up and sometimes people will pay up to 60 or 80 dollars for a set now I grabbed I sort of piecemeal grabbed things so I have they're really dirty by the way I have some of the plates and if I remember right not all of them match so the dinner plates and the salad plates match so I'm not sure if I'll put those together, but I, if I remember, yes, there's a whole different pattern mixed in. This one's called Wellington. I paid $8 for five plates, five dinner plates, five salad plates, cups and saucers. I'm not going to deal with the cups and saucers. I don't see that those do quite as well. So they're in my like yard sale pile. But I'm going to try to move these at, um, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'll put them all together or I'll just do the salad plates separate from the dinner plates. But I'm no longer passing those up because when I looked on eBay, people were consistently buying them. So. I don't know why I'm telling you that. If you're in the Bangor area, you should probably leave them there for me, but I'm just teasing. 
be profitable. Do your thing. So, or get them for yourself. Then I saw these and I thought, okay, these must be the same kind of hearth side thing. But they're from a Accents, I want to say. And these are stoneware made in Japan in excellent shape. There are only three, so that's not great. But I was seeing that they were selling on eBay per plate. So, oh, I can't remember now, but it was at least $20 a plate. So I think I paid $3 for all three, so a dollar a piece. So that's great. And you guys, if you've been watching, you have seen that I am so into plates right now. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm not that domestic. I don't cook a whole lot, so I don't know... I don't know what's happening and I told you I only buy things that I'm interested in and that I'm okay with keeping so I don't know what I would do with all these plates speaking of plates these are more modern I don't like getting this close to the camera oh, oh. I got them I got them these are more modern they're from Target they're melamine and there are two different designs. Very summery. Three over here, two here. They were three dollars. Yes, they were three dollars for all of them. Melamine sells really well for me on eBay. Again, I these are modern, so it could be you know they could have been put out two or three years ago, or maybe a bit longer, but. I mean, they're just made in China melamine plates, but people are paying, it's hard for me to remember now when I look up comps, but I know that it was at least um, $20 for four at the very least. So to pay $3 for five of them, I know I'll make money off of those. And again, I wouldn't mind keeping them. I'm gonna have to have a really entertaining summer where I just entertain everyone because I'm fully vaccinated now and I know that doesn't mean everything but it's better than not so I think this is the last plate I'm nope I bought more plates over here I bought so many plates okay this plate is crate and barrel and I oh yeah the sticker's still there three dollars so I was like, do I want to pay $3 for one plate? I don't know. And then I looked it up. And people, geez, what was one price I saw somebody pay for this? Just this plate alone, I think was $50 or $60 for one plate. That isn't what they consistently sell for, but they do consistently sell around the $20 to $30 mark for just this one plate. So it's in perfect condition. Again, crate and barrel. It's gorgeous, it has birds on it, so I loved getting that. I like the feel of it too. There's something, there's something about it. Made in Great Britain. I wouldn't mind being stuck with that. Should I just go through all the plates? Cause there are a lot of plates. I'll break it up a little for you. For people who are like, I'm sick of your plates, Jody. I'm tired of your plates. This is like five or six yards of, they call it white on white fabric, but it's really white on ivory. And who makes this one? It's a little bit stinky. I'll have to put that in the description. A little bit stinky. I don't know who, who the maker is. It's kind of cut off. But for, oh, this is, this might be eight yards for $4. I will definitely make my money on this. I mean, it usually sells for 6 to $8 a yard. Oh, no, more than that now. I keep forgetting that fabric has gone way up. So plenty of yardage there. I will put these on eBay. How are you guys doing? Anybody want another sip of coffee? We're at the 20-minute mark, and I'm just going to keep going. What else do you want to see? These were for me. Now our local Goodwill, uh, 
we have a Joanne Fabrics that's right next to the Goodwill, and anything that doesn't sell on their clearance, they I don't know if they donate it to Goodwill or they sell it to Goodwill. They probably donate it and get the write-off. But these were boxes that were brand new from Joanne's that were on clearance at Joanne's for $6. I don't know what I paid. I paid $3, so I paid half of what the clearance would have been. They're sewing boxes, boxes within boxes. I mean, still brand new. And I love, there's another box inside of this box. I love using boxes in my craft slash office room slash art room slash extra bedroom <laughs> slash everything extra I need is in that one little room. So I like to compartmentalize everything that I need and so these are great. And I don't know why, and maybe he's watching, but for some reason I thought of my friend Brad when I found these. He loves to sew. It's not his style, but I just really thought of him. So Brad, if you want these, you can have them. But I'm guessing you don't. I'm just guessing you don't. What else, my loves? Okay, this was from the Catholic, I keep calling it the Catholic Charities. It's a charity, it's a local, right down the road really, uh, thrift shop that raises money for the Catholic schools in the area. We still have some Catholic schools. I grew up in Catholic school. And they, uh, it's just all volunteers. It's really nice. They are super sweet people there. They call it the Attic. That's what it is. I should just say that from now on instead of Catholic Charities. This was $1 there. It's by Anarcho Japan. There's my shaky arm again. And look at the colors. I just loved this picture for $1. I have no idea of its value. I would use it as a vase. The colors are just fantastic. I mean, it's just shades of blue. I, I had to have it. One dollar. Did I show you the bottom? There we go. No chips or cracks. So, good deal. Good deal, guys. Okay. Let's see. Now we're at 22 minutes. This is a long one. So I hope you can stand me for this long. I do have something really awesome at the end to show you. So, stick around. And... All right, these aren't coming apart right now. Do I have my scissors? Maybe not. These are do were a dollar. They're tea bag holders. They have, I wish I could show you. They have acorns on them. They're nice and sturdy, no chips or cracks. And then I looked her up, the artist, Kathy Sol Soluski. I hate butchering names. Oh, I also hate shaking. If you just got here, I got my COVID shot, my second one, and it's just my arm's a little bit weak, but I'm going to be okay. So I love the mint green in there. And I remember looking, I mean, I just got these yesterday and I did look them up. I could not find these. However, I found that her work is worth, uh, has value, has resale value. So for a dollar, I'm absolutely certain I can make 12 to 15 dollars on these i'm hoping inshallah now back to the attic i hope you can see the i think it's called opulescence in this this vase was two dollars oh i hope this shows up see the white on white it's like feathering or leafing absolutely stunning seriously in person it's got crazing which just adds such a nice look to it and it's locally I assume I always assume <laughs> the pottery is locally made but I think it's signed WB and yeah that looks like WB it's clearly studio pottery and that white on white is, oh, I wonder what it will look like in the sun. Fabulous, I'm sure. So this will probably go on a live sale. So if you want that, 
you let me know. I'm making a mess over here. Okay, moving the newspaper around. Hope I don't make that much noise for you. Okay, here's something exciting, which also reminded me of one of my best friends, Brad. Brad and I, oh, Brad and I are going to go shopping together. Brad and I are going to make videos together and wait until you meet him. He, he's my heart. Two people couldn't be more opposite than me and him on so many levels, yet two people couldn't be as connected as he and I are. So it should be fun. I am the yin to his yang and vice versa. And he will not love the colors in this. Brad, I already know you are not going to love the colors in this. It was $1. It is handmade. It is a table runner. Quilted. Double sided. I prefer this side. The batik is gorgeous. It is hand stitched around the binding. And I mean, it's glorious. I also want to point out while we're here that I say and a lot. I noticed that every time I watch one of my videos again. And now, and now I'm going to make you think of it every time I say it. And I'm sorry. Uh, I need a different like word to carry me over into the next sentence, but and is so perfect. I use and, I use so, I use well. I just don't like, I like things to flow. I don't want to cut sentences right at the end. Anyway, <laughs> this will go in a live sale, I believe. I don't think I'm going to try it on eBay. It just won't show up the way it should and it's so beautiful look at the stitching one dollar you guys and it's like it's brand new so the same person must have made this next piece because they had a whole bunch of pieces that were donated that were hanging in the linens these are the two i loved most i wait three no, that's from Goodwill. Okay, Whew. I didn't want to lie to you. Okay, two. I found two that I loved. Same kind of colorway. Very fall. Not reversible on this one. It's blank on the back, but you sh it shows the quilting, which is nice. The fabrics are all so high quality. I am a quilter myself, and I buy a lot of fabrics and I sell a lot of fabrics and have forever. I used to, I think the first things I ever sold on eBay back in, oh my goodness, 2003 maybe were fabrics. And I would just find different fabrics at estate sales or Goodwill, or even we have a place called Martin's here in Brewer that used to carry some really high end fabric for $2 a yard. And I would go and purchase some really high-end stuff and then I would flip it on eBay for people who couldn't find that fabric any longer because it was discontinued or out of print. I know a lot about fabric is what I'm trying to say to you and these are just gorgeous fabrics in here. So this was a dollar. Also likely will go in a live sale. I have so many of these that I keep Plus, I make my own, so I'm probably not going to keep that many more. And there I said, and again. Okay, this one I'm probably going to keep, though. Let's see if you can guess why. I know we don't know each other that well yet. We're at 30 minutes. I hope you stay. I have to, actually, I have to pause it and come back. Okay, I paused it and came back, because my camera only does... 30 minutes at a time if you we we don't know each other that well yet and I hope we get to know each other very well and some of you who watch know me very very well let's see if you can guess why I love this handmade piece this handmade piece I found at Goodwill for two dollars 
Okay, I gave you enough time. It is so Frida Kahlo-esque. And Frida's my girl. Frida is my girl. So this will go either in my office, which is becoming very Frida-like. I'm trying to fill it with florals and basically florals, because that's what she was really into. She was also really into monkeys, which I'm not, and birds, which I am, and art, which I am. So this one also can be reversed if you just want plain green. I'm probably going to keep this, though, unless you're dying for it write to me because I don't want you to die over fabric. Continuing with the fabric, this is just a silly thing I bought for myself for a dollar. It's brand new. I could gift it if I wanted to, but it's a Primitives by Kathy dishcloth that just says this is my happy place. And I say that a lot. Or Well, I don't really say this is my happy place, but I do say like this is my happy and I usually say it here in my house with my husband and son when I just look around and realize how much I love my life and it's because of my family. So this is my happy place will be used in my kitchen. All right, I think I have to, I'm gonna have to get up and move in a minute because this is spread everywhere and we're, we're doing it. We're gonna do it all at once. Back to plates. I admit to you, I know very, very little about Asian plates and Asian art. And I watch Sue Me. I'll put her link in the description. Sue knows so much about Asian art and Asian pieces. And I did look these up. What I did was take a picture of them and you can on face, excuse me, on eBay, you can search by picture. So I found that these were worth, they, they spread all over the place. Some people paid $30 a plate, some people paid 15, some didn't sell. It's, it was all over the place. So I figured it was worth a shot. They still have their stickers, original, some parts of the original sticker. They were $2.99 a plate. So this sticker would be from Salvation Army. So I bought two of them. It looks like originally way back in the day, these were 12, 12 a plate. So that would have been, I assume when they were originally sold, which I'm guessing would have made for a high end plate. One of these has just a flaw in the creation of it, if, I, if I'm right. Just one little flaw in the paint up on the top. I think I'm right. Oh no, almost in the same exact spot actually. So maybe it is a manufacturer's flaw right up here. I don't know if that will devalue them. And also I wanna ask, my viewers because some of you are just so darn good about sharing information with me so thank you so very much is this cloisonne is this considered cloisonne because it's got the gold trim around the artwork let me know i'm so new learning every day now this next plate i can't believe how many plates i got should i skip plates and go to the next thing because you guys are like, I'm done with your plates, Renshaw. This was 75 cents at the Catholic attic. It says Steubenville, which I've heard many of the thrifters that I watch talk about. I don't know that it's worth very much because these patterns tend not to be, but for 75 cents and in perfect condition, I could not leave it there. I mean, how beautiful is that? This will probably go in a live sale. It's more of a platter than a plate. It says, by skilled American craftsmen for lasting beauty. Made in USA Fairlane. Or maybe Fairlane is, I think Fairlane is probably the design. So that's lovely. Okay, shifting gears. We'll shift gears a little bit. 
Peter Pan! So I collect golden books. This was half off, too. It was half off red yesterday at Goodwill. The, these are one of the big golden books. Some of them are worth money, like $10 or something. I don't know what I'll do with this. I have more that I've purchased, so I might put them in a lot, like Alice in Wonderland and some other things. The illustrations are great. They're very Disney-esque, of course. It's basically the cartoon. It's not any other illustrator. It's Disney. So, yeah, these are the big golden books. I collect the little golden books mostly. More fabric. <laughs> just a little bit. Just, just a hair. Not even a yard. I'm going to use this Santa fabric. Unless somebody wants it. Somebody cut it weird. It is a high-end maker. It is Peter Pan fabrics. So I'll use it probably in my crafting. If not, you let me know. I think I paid... One dollar. One dollar for all that fabric. Okay, I lied. Shoot, did I say there were no more plates? Guys, I'm a sucker for Corel salad plates. I feel like you know this. So these are four dollars for all of these plates. You can't break these. I mean, you can try. We can do a video if you want where we all try to break them. We could do a, we could do a contest. Who can break them into the most pieces? So, yeah, I forget, is this, is this Lazy Daisy? Is that what this pattern is? I have some of it already, so I have more now, or I'll part with it. These bowls, for some reason, I think she thought they went together, so I think I only got charged a dollar for both, so I paid 50 cents each. These bowls are... Folk craft stoneware, and it's the white-tailed deer. There are two cereal bowls. That reminded me of church. <laughs> Catholic church. It's a lot of bells. So white-tailed deer, yeah. I looked them up, and they sell, oh, I think, again, it was like $15 for two or $18 for two. So I'll, I paid 50 cents each. Okay, we're really going to shift gears right now. I never buy stuff like this. And I think it's because I've been watching... Oop, we're getting dark. We're going dark. Let's get up there. Okay. Did I do that right? The sun is going back and forth. We're good. You can see me. So, I think this is because I watch Misty. Hey, Misty. I... No, I feel like she likes this kind of stuff. And I feel like I never really looked at it before. This is embroidery in, I don't, I forget what type of embroidery this is called. It's not cross stitch. This was $4. It's signed on the back, Karen Schwann, Christmas 1976 by Judy Fisher. It has no issues with it whatsoever. It clearly is in the original frame. I've seen Misty sell things like this on her live sales, and I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to see if I could give this to a home that really loved it. As some of you may or may not know, when things don't sell at Goodwill, they go to the Goodwill bins in Portland. Oh, I'm going to go up again. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they go to the Goodwill bins in Portland. I've been there. It's chaos. You have 15 or 20 minutes to look through the bins and buy stuff by the pound and then everything else gets thrown away. And if you saw everything that gets thrown away, there's really a good argument to be made for thrifting and reselling. Those things get thrown away because they weren't purchased in Maine by people who wanted them, but maybe someone in Washington wants it or someone in Texas. So it's an environmentally wonderful thing to do to thrift and resell. This, I hope, will go to an amazing home. So this will go on a live sale. It's got a bird on it. So, you know, perfect. And it's very sweet. 
This I bought for me, which I haven't bought a whole lot of stuff for me, have I? I couldn't believe I found this. And it's probably just some made... Yep, I just took the sticker off. It's totally made in China. It's totally not... It's totally worthless pottery. Wait, rude of me. It's worth something to me. I have the matching Santa for this. I bought it at Goodwill maybe, oh gosh, like right after my son was born and came home. Uh, now I have the snowman, so, or snow person, thank you. So that's for me, it was a dollar. Speaking of Christmas and Santa, my son, as you may have seen from another video, he's adopted. He's from Haiti, uh, which makes him dark skinned, which makes him what we call black. And we can never find black anything in Maine. It's very hard. I mean, sure, you can go online, but I am always searching for black Santas because representation is very important. Hold that in your hat. So... For 50 cents, I found a black Santa ornament. And he's nice. He's beautiful. So we, it was one of the first things I said when I came home. I was like, Isaac, I found a black Santa. And he just rolls his eyes because he doesn't care. It's mom who tries to, you know, show diversity in the home. And for good reason. All right, what else? Oh. This I'm excited about. Coleman trinket box. Collectible porcelain box. Coleman is big in Maine, in any sort of state that is very vacation-y and campy. This was $4, which is kind of paying up for a trinket. But when I looked on eBay, they are worth about 30 because nobody has them. This is still in the box. So it's a great, it was a great investment. <laughs> it's so cute. And I love selling things that I like. So that's fun. There's still more, guys. There's still more. Okay, I'm moving over. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm going to move some of this stuff closer. Can you see me? Oh, there the there's my buddy. Isn't he beautiful? He's the best, best dog we've ever had. We all say it. And we've had a lot of dogs. He literally is the best dog we've ever had. Do you hear me, buddy? Do you hear me? He knows. He knows. Speaking of dogs, this was a brand new, see the tag? Lifesaver jacket for an extra large dog. Looks like Nemo. I paid $3 and I'm going to post it on eBay for I think $34. 30 to 35. We use them on our dogs and you can lift your dog right up out of the water. These are really nice and I like the front straps. So this will definitely be an eBay resale. And I highly recommend using life jackets on your dogs. I know that they can swim well, but they get tired. A couple more books, a golden book because I collect them. And this book I'm going to read on my channel. I read books to kids and adults. A lot of adults like it. And I read this story at Salvation Army and it was so good. So that I'll read. This find was really cool. And I'm kind of covering up the find over here that I want to show you at the end. So everybody knows, or if you don't, now you know. I should move this a little. That Starbucks cups are highly prized. If they say a name on them, a state name, a city name, pretty sure that's it. And I found this at Goodwill, $6, coffee stained, which I think is hilarious. The box is coffee stained. It said Starbucks Ben There series. So I'm like, hmm. It's the main cup. So it's a little miniature cup of the state of Maine goodies about us and says Starbucks and apparently hangs in a collection. Here you go. And it goes for about 30. I just wanted to have 
it for a few minutes before I resold it. Because everyone's searching for Starbucks mugs because some of them are worth a lot. This isn't one of them. But I, I just, even though it was $6 and my profit margin won't be as high, I wanted to touch it and have it and then pass it on. All right. Speaking of touching and having something, this was $4 at Goodwill. And it is a freaking Dorable. It's by Target, Threshold. Isn't Threshold Target? I'm 99% sure. I'm 100% sure. And it is a hippo cookie jar. <laughs> Look at that. So these consistently sell for 35 on eBay in this color. I guess there are a couple of different colors. So for $4, worth it. He won't go to a junkyard. Or she. I'm a she. She. I'm tired of calling everything he at first. Okay. She is lovely. Misty, if you're watching, I need you to look away, even though this is cute. This is a clown. In incoming clown. But a cute clown. So this is an old bell. It is not, oh, is it marked? It's marked Made in Taiwan ROC. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm not going to keep it. I'm not into clowns either. I do like the colors, though. And I love the vintage look. Here's a piece of art glass. And these confuse me so much. I've been trying to learn from thrifters um, about and resellers and so forth and so on, and collectors about art glass. This is a paperweight. It's really well done. Some of these are worth a lot of money. I am 90% sure this isn't one of them. This is not Murano. The Pontel is very nice at the bottom. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Maybe a live sale just to let people decide what it's worth. I. I just don't know a lot about it, but it is beautiful. And when it shines in the sun, it's glorious. Another piece of art glass that I found, I don't know much about either. It's a vase. I love the colors. Very well made. I, I don't. I'm, again, I'm trying to learn from the Antique Nomad and other people, from Michael at Cult of Vintage, um, from Sue, from Misty, what this glass is all about. I know it's not called flashing because the inside is, I think there's a glass blown, the white glass blown, then this blown over, it's layered. My brother, this is embarrassing, my brother was a glass blower for years and nothing he ever said rubbed off on me. So I'm sorry. This is gorgeous. It was $3 and I am not sure what I'm doing with it yet. Why do I feel like my camera is moving? I don't know. I look really tired. It is allergy season. So the woman who works, at, one of the women who works at Goodwill, her name is also Jody. She's in charge of the glass in Bangor. She saw me and she came up to me and said, oh, you, you, you collect Ray Dunn, right? And I did, but I have, I'm holding on to so much Ray Dunn waiting for Christmas that I, I'll pass on it now unless it's something to do with birds because that seems to be what's worth the most money all the time. So she brought me over to this dish. I had to buy it because she was so excited that I got it. She's like, oh, get it before someone else does. So I, I'm guessing it's a little kitty dish. And I, there were two that went together, I think, naughty and nice. I'll try to sell this on eBay separately when Christmas comes around. I have a lot of Ray Dunn to sell at Christmas. If you want some beforehand, you just let me know. 
because I will part with it inexpensively since I have so much of it. Is that, that's, nope, that's not it. Ready for the last thing? Okay, because I think we're 40 something minutes in. So here's the last thing that I got, I think. There are other things here. I bought some soaps. I bought scrap fabrics that I'm going to use. You don't need to see all that. What, what you need to see is this next. So Maine, I, I don't know about other states, but Maine is very traditionally known, you know, for hunting and fishing and camping and being vacation land and for being absolutely stunningly beautiful, which it is, and for being cold and for skiing and, <laughs> and for moxie, for red hot dogs. Oh, I should just keep going for Humpty Dumpty potato chips and for ocean, ugh, for ocean, for Acadia National Park, for our lakes, our lakes are to die for. My favorite is Alamusic. Look it up. And what else? You guys can keep telling me. Potatoes, uh, so on and so forth. But one of the things, colleges, we are known for colleges, really good colleges. One of the things we're also known for is our art. We have huge art communities here. Pottery, watercolor, painting, sculpture, you name it. And we have a lot of art galleries, um, a lot of art communities. I love when I go to the coast and I see people just painting the scenes of the lighthouses. We're also known for lighthouses. We're known for a lot of things, good things. I chose here. So I dragged my husband here, <laughs> kicking and screaming a little bit. So watercolor, sometimes you can find gorgeous one-of-a-kind watercolors here at your Goodwills and thrift stores. And my wall in my office has quite a few. Let me see if I can get, get this without breaking everything I put near it. You know what? I got this. Don't you worry about me. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet because it's so gorgeous. Look at this. One of a kind watercolor signed by the artist. Um, the gallery that put the frame together is on the back as is the artist. Then you've got the gallery sticker here. I mean, just really well done. I have purchased, when I had some money, I have purchased watercolors for, in you know, a couple Benjamins. This was $10 and in such great shape. Oh, 1993. She made this in 93, so it's also vintage. Vintage and in perfect condition. And the frame is perfect for it, and the matting is so gorgeous. So I would probably keep this, but I have a lot. So maybe I'm going to part with it. If anyone is interested in it, you tell me. It is 12 by 14. I think the frame just adds maybe a half an inch. So 12 by 14, Judith Webster, original art, signed and dated. Also, the name seems to be on here of the piece, but I can't figure it out. It looks like F. Nope, not even going to try. Not even going to try. So yeah, that this was an incredible piece. When I find artwork at Goodwill, I get giddy. And this makes up for... The piece that I missed when I w walked in to Goodwill later than I usually do, the Goodwill and Brewer, and this lady was holding an original artwork that, I know, he's crying because I'm taking too long. And it, she was holding this original piece of like um, a Hispanic, I don't know, Mexican, South American woman in all flowers and a floral dress. And it was an original painting and I thought I was going to die. I asked her if, you know, if you're, if you really don't want that, I, I would really love that. 
And I would have, it's so Frida Kahlo, that would have been in my office. She really loved it because why wouldn't she? So she kept it. And she was, as she was walking out the door, she was showing it to everybody. So she was really proud of it. That was Bailey. So we shall see. Oh, it looks like this was done in Camden, Maine. Beautiful spot. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, I love vacation money, as you well know. So I might sell that to help with some vacation. But that's it, my friends. That was a long one. So if you stuck through to the very end, what can I give you for a prize? You always get my love, so I can't do that. Can I give you a joke? I'll give you a joke. Okay. This joke was told to me a while ago, and it's not that great, but it's one of the only jokes I know. So, what do you call the stuff stuck between a shark's teeth? Slow swimmers. Okay. Okay, fine. It's not that good, but I remember it. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Please like and subscribe. Check out the links that I've put down below. I will probably link to some other channels as well that I talked about today. And as always, I love you. Bye for now.